Hey guys, Mr. EJ's Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a problem that some users are having with their iPad, Wi Fi, and 3G. Supposedly, I haven't gotten my iPad yet, but I'm going to show you how to do this on an iPod Touch. It's the same idea, just the command won't work on the iPod Touch because there's no file called that. But I'm going to show you how to fix your <coughs> location services. Uh, I'll actually look it up over here. Um, someone tweeted about there being problems. Fix iPad location services bug after jailbreak. Okay, guys? So, on your iPad, 3G, Wi-Fi, I'm just going to go into Cydia. Let it load up. By the way, guys, I'm not copying this off of someone's video, I'm copying this off of a written guide. So, I don't want to be copy, called copier. It's off of a guide, so therefore there's no video showing how to do it. So once the video loads all up, you're going to want to type an A, U, oops, U, T, O, and you should be good by there. Okay. Reloading data. Uh, I'm showing you this on an iPod second generation. So let's search. We'll go down. And see this automatic SSH? Install that. It also installs uh, Open SSH and everything else. So you're just going to want to click install and then confirm. Then you're all set. If you have SB settings, uh, just swipe to make sure the SSH thing is on. If you don't have SB settings, then you don't really need to worry about it. SSH will be on anyways. So, now you're done with that. And we're going to go full screen to the computer. Okay, guys. Um, over here, we're just going to want to click uh, go into Finder. Search for terminal. Click on terminal. Okay. You see right there? It comes up with this kind of thing. And you're just gonna gonna go up to here. Go into shell. Uh, new remote uh, connection. This kind of window pops up. You're gonna want to go into here. Where it says secure file transfer, make sure your Wi Fi is on on your device. And I'll show you how to find your IP. So, once you're on your device, go to settings, Wi Fi, right there, 196.1. Dot one six eight dot o dot eleven. That's what you type in. For iPod, normal SSH clients don't work. <clears throat> so that this is why you have to do in terminal. Okay, so sometimes it'll show up under this discover bar, discovered servers, which it uses through Bonjour. But in other cases, if it doesn't work, you want to type in root over here and then you want to uh, pick, click plus and 192.168.0.11 or you're you're gonna have your own um, your own uh, server kind of thing your own IP so IP is different for everybody uh, so keep that in mind don't use mine so I'm gonna just want to click on this Greg's iPod right here. It's gonna connect. It usually works better if you do that. <clears throat> you need a stronger uh, internet connection. So guys, I'm gonna show you the camera. I'm gonna wanna click A L P I N E. Okay. The screen will not display any form of entered text, but you're just going to click enter. 
and it'll show up with this S SFTP. And what you're gonna want to do, close out the camera, be right back. Now that we're on our desktop, uh, I'm gonna just look up this. I'll have all this this stuff that you have to type in in the description. You just want to copy this right there. It'll be in the description, guys. So, and you're gonna just gonna click Command V. You're gonna click Enter. Of course, it says invalid command because I'm on an iPod second generation. But I'm sorry, guys. I'm not getting my iPad, or I'm not ordering mine till Friday. So I'll get mine sometime next week. But this should fix the um, uh, error with current location because it was an error with open SSH. So guys, uh, when you're done with that, you just click X, X that. Um, I hope this guide was really helpful to many iPad users experiencing, experiencing like data fail, failure to like get data, current location stuff. Guys, definitely check me out on Twitter. I'll be tweeting about stuff like this. And this is Mr. AJ Tech. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my blog. Link will be in the description. So, see you guys.